This video will show you how to edit live files while they are still on your server. So if your favorite editor is Notepad or Notepad++ or Edit++3 or even Dreamweaver or Composer, this video will walk you through the process. So let's go ahead and open up FileZilla and get started. Now first off, we want to head on over to our Settings menu. We do that by coming up over to the Edit option in our menu bar. Go to Settings. I'm already logged in too, by the way. We want to head on down to the File Editing and then click on File Type Association. That's this guy right here at the very bottom. And if it's collapsed, then you just want to expand it and then click on File Type Associations. And as you can see here, I've already associated this one with my notepad, but I'm going to change that to Edit Plus 3. And as you can see, as it explains down here, what you want to do is you want to put out the extension of the file type you're going to want to edit with this particular program. In this example, for my PHP files, I currently have it set up to be editing the PHP files with Notepad. I want that to be with the Edit Plus 3. And maybe I want HTML files to be edited with Dreamweaver. You can do the same process that I'm showing you here uh, to accomplish that with the HTML extension. Or with, uh, say, an image like a PNG or a JPG. Maybe you want those to be edited with something else. So what we want to do first is find the path to that particular program. And again, in this case, I'm looking for the path for my Edit Plus 3. And to find the path to that program, you go over to your Start button in the lower left corner of your monitor and you click on that and in the search box and of course this varies depending upon the operating system you're working with but the search box on my Windows 7 is just above the start bar at the very bottom of the box and in there where it says search programs and files type in the name of the program you're looking for in my example it's edit plus three then when you see the program showing up in the list you right click on it and then click on properties then you, you want to make sure you're in the shortcut area of the properties and you're looking for the target so you just want to copy that and by default it's probably already selected so using the short